A new health warning may uh, may actually mean trouble for your weekend beach plans. There are low levels of red tide being reported in the waters around Sarasota County. Our very own Christine McClarty is live in Lido Key in Sarasota with the very latest. Good morning. Hey, good morning. As of today, there's signs like these popping up around the beaches. Health officials warning those in search of sand and sun about the red tide. Because there is some um, irritation respiratory irritation. We wanted to go ahead and put an alert out to the community. Red tide has been spotted along nine beaches, including Siesta Beach, Nokomis Beach, and Longboat Key. Health officials warn red tide can lead to eye, nose, and throat irritation, even breathing problems. It's worth noting, officials say this is not related to Piney Point Leak, but this is an early season for red tide. According to FWC, red tide usually blooms closer to August. So how does it get its name? According to the FWC, it's a harmful algal bloom that when you get into a large quantity can discolor water a red or brown hue. Health officials say there's a low concentration right now, but it may still cause you health problems. They might feel a little uh, tickle in the back of their throat, some coughing, you know, it causes respiratory issues. So anybody with uh, respiratory issues chronically would want to know that Eight on your side spoke with beachgoers visiting from Indiana who aren't too concerned. I read about it before we came, but no, not at all. We've been in the water a couple days and not having any issues whatsoever. Now you can see from the waves that it's a little windy this morning, and it's that wind that some health officials are hoping will put the red to bed by pushing the algae offshore. Reporting live in Sarasota, Christine McClarty, eight on your side.